So recently, me and my friends have been playing a game which is a little popular right now. You may have heard of it called Helldivers 2. In fact, I think at this point, everyone has heard about Helldivers 2. And it's been a lot of fun. And in playing the game, I have started to form a few thoughts about games in general that I kind of wanted to express in a slightly different video today. It's a, we're experimenting with a more unscripted, more off the cuff approach with this video, just to try things out. But yeah, Helldivers 2, as you all know, it's a third person co-op shooter. You shoot bugs and robots and it's been a lot of fun, right? The game is quirky. The lore is fun slash funny. The gameplay is is like arcadey and unserious, but there's also a little bit of like tactical tactical-ishness to it that me and my friends really enjoy. And it also introduces some pretty unique game mechanics, like the stratagems where you have to enter button combos to access certain weapons. It's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. The game overall as a package is fun. Now, in the past, I would have then taken that as an opportunity to maybe dunk on the game industry or AAA games or talk about some kind of lesson that this might impart for developers. But these days, I'm not really interested in talking about these lessons. First of all, because like I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I just kind of stumbled my way into the whole game development thing. I don't even have a game developed yet, right? I haven't even shipped a complete game yet. We'll get there eventually, but just know that I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Um, but also, let's think about when Helldivers 2 was released. It was released a month ago, which means that any sort of lessons that you might be able to learn from the game now, we're not going to see any of it take effect for another three to five years because making games takes a long time. And so if somebody plays Helldivers 2 and is inspired to make a video game today, we're not going to see anything of it for at least another three to five years. Think about what the game industry was like five years ago, 2019, before the pandemic. It's very different from the game industry now. And I have no reason to believe that the game industry in five more years is going to be look anything like how it looks like now. It's going to be very different. And so any sort of lessons we learn about game development now, that's going to have to stand up to the audiences of tomorrow, of five years from now. And these lessons, they'll result in good things happening for games. It will result in unexpected things for happening for games. And in some cases, it will even result in negative things happening for games. We don't actually know because we don't know what's going to happen in the future, especially when it comes to games. And believe me, game developers, publishers, they have noticed Helldivers too. They are taking notes, they are learning their lessons, and they are making changes for the future. We just don't know how any of those changes are going to play out in the future because, again, it's all unwritten. We don't know. We don't know. That's not to say that we shouldn't try to improve things. And I think we, in fact, I think we should definitely try to push things along, you know, a certain path. But we don't know how the specific lessons that we're learning today are going to play out in the future. That's basically the point I'm trying to make here. What we do know, however, is that we have ourselves a fun game in our hands right now called Helldivers 2. And we should just enjoy it while we still can. You know, we don't know if Helldivers 2 will always be playable. In fact, I doubt it will always be playable because it, it is a live service game after all. And But it is playable now and it is fun now. And I think it's important that we take advantage of that and enjoy it now because it's right there for us to enjoy. And I think just the act of enjoying a game that is available right now and is enjoyable right now, I think that sends a stronger message to developers and to publishers than any amount of lecturing or, or finger wagging or proselytizing ever will. Because we're making it clear that, you know, something about this game really speaks to us and we're enjoying it a lot. Do more of that. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to say about that. Um, again, this is a more experimental type of video, less edited, less polished, a little more informal. But, you know, we always like to keep things fresh and interesting on this channel. And this is something that I've been meaning to talk about for a little bit now. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe, and bell. And as always, have a nice day.